rogue mage entering the Grand Arena blind once again. We ask the question, who is the best rogue mage in the world, making a movie or Method Black? All right, I wasn't really expecting assassinations. I thought we would see sub or maybe even outlaw. So assassination doesn't have the same kind of control. Uh, Ratify's team can definitely just overwhelm with burst damage, but Chaz will have the late game advantage with the Resto Druid. Waz and Acro both in stealth, sneaking to try and find each other. If we can see any saps on the mages, that could be devastating. But now that combat is secured for both teams, no saps will be happening. Waz waiting to pull the trigger now, opening up on Amaro. Acro's going to make a move now. He's out of position, though. He's got to close a lot of distance. Well, meanwhile, Waz is just building up damage. Acro opens with a stun, double stun combo, but no polymorph to follow out of that onto Chaz, unfortunately. Waz now getting swapped to and burst it down, taking immense pressure early on, already proccing the tank, trinket out of the way. Yeah, and one thing you might have noticed is both teams are actually playing Horde in this matchup in the past. We've always seen them play the human, but unfortunately that was taken down a notch, so now the Orc Rachel is going to be better in the mirror, apparently. Uh, Waz now putting a little bit of pressure over on Amaro with the full kidney shot. Paint expression going to be thrown out by Ratify to keep him alive. There's a full blind over on a Chaz. This is Vendetta from Waz as well, and really not getting too much. Waz vanished during the blind. Acro wasn't able to find him and stun him. Chaz ultimately trinket though here during this exchange which is fair enough Waz is dipping dangerously low that was the blind the biggest crowd control in the game so trading that out is fine now Chaz is trying to get aggressive jumping over for a bash trying to fake cast the counter spell gets polymorphed on the cyclone though cheeky play from Morrow that's going to open up some potential here looks like uh, making a movie have been focusing Waz though most of the game instead of Raikou and this is a big target difference between the teams because Method Black are targeting the mage we're going to get to see which strategy is actually better I think this game yeah Waz actually trading out the cloak of shadows as well it's a two minute cooldown He's not going to have that available for quite some time. There's a smoke bomb as well. He's trying to kite out of it, getting lower and lower. Chaz is trying to play catch up, but still, Waz in a lot of trouble. You can see Ratify just throwing out the smites over and over and over. Ray of Frost gets channeled out. Waz trying to keep himself alive with the Shadow Step kick, but uh, still not topped off. Defensive blind? Ooh, full poly. Full poly defensive blind, though. If Acro gets sap, potentially vanish not available. He can't sap it. He tries to death from above to immune the stun. That was nice play from Waz, but it's not enough. Now caught into the kidney shot. Maro, though, caught in the stun as well. Can't reverse any pressure. Acro gets cloned up. Chaz trying to pause damage and heal Waz back up, but a shadow step kick from Acro interrupts the follow-up. Waz is dipping low. Maro as well. Ratify caught into a bash. Acro in a poly. Triple crowd control from Method Black as they're launching an assault, forcing potentially an ice block from Maro. They need to get it. Do they have enough? Another clone secured from Chaz. They get it. First ice block out of the way. It's a long way to a second one, though. Waz with no trinket, Chaz with no trinket. It's a big opening now for making movie to make a swing. There's a full kidney shot with the Dark Archangel from Ratapai. Chaz respecting the damage with the Iron Bark. Waz now back on target, putting some pressure over on Amaru. Raikou just getting polymorph spam there by Amaru as well. Raikou looking for the polymorphs on a Ratapai, but Ratapai's been doing a good job with the positioning so far, avoiding the CC from Raikou, and he's able to get a, a lot of damage because of it. All right, Waz trying to stay on target, but so many Frost Novas manages to reconnect with Death from above. Interesting choice from Waz. I don't think Acro's running that, but he's going after the Rogue instead, so he doesn't really need it. Waz trying to crowd control the whole team. Nice poly on the trinket of Acro. Now switching it over to Ratapai. Sick play from Raikou here. Can they capitalize on it and force the second Ice Block? Maro's on the run. Acro peels for him. Temporal Shield about to go off. Maro might bounce back. No, it's not enough. They get the second Ice Block, and Method Black are in a dominating position. Yeah, Method Black has so much control with that Wrestle Druid. Maro's still in a lot of trouble. Ratapai not out of crowd control yet. Another Cyclone comes in. Morrow getting lower and lower. Finally, a big heal connecting by Ratapai, but he's into the full bash. Morrow trying to survive. Rhea Frost being channeled by Raikou. Nice Cyclone by Chaz. That's going to be denying any heals coming in from Ratapai. He did use his Trinket and get another Polymorph. Fortunately, no. Morrow is going to be okay. Ratapai finally has a moment to breathe and top him off. All right, Waz still just getting tunneled down by making a movie. They're committing all out to this kill the rogue strategy, and it's slowly but surely not working for them as Maro's burned through two ice blocks. And at this point, making a movie have to keep going for it. They don't have the time to go through two ice blocks on Raikou. Maro's in trouble. Everyone in crowd control is Method Black. Launch another attack. Maro's got Temporal Shield rolling preemptively. Huge heal for him. Nice play, but he's caught in center field, trying to kite out of the vortex before he goes for a blink, but now gets locked on Polymorph. He's not able to escape to safety. Ratapai's still locked down. Cloning Maro at low health. Chaz moving in. I'd love to see a punish swap on Chaz. He's just spamming clone in the middle of the map. If the Shadow Step kidney shot just kill him would be the play. I think Morrow, though, is just falling more and more behind us. Chaz moves in for the game-winning clone. Morrow's got nothing left. Everybody's in CC. He's hanging on by a thread, but it's not enough. As Method Black look almost untouchable in game number one. 
Now, the big thing that I want to give up all of that, and the mage can pretty much do whatever he wants here. And on the side of the RMP and the RMD, because we have two different healers, it is a little bit different. Uh, on the side of the RMP, you kind of do want to go on that rogue, but on the side of the RMD, you want to be killing that frost mage. And the reason why is because Raikou is going to be able to land those polymorphs onto Radapai, and Chaz is going to be able to land those clones onto Radapai. But on the flip side, Maru is not going to be able to land anything about any of that alliance situation but yeah uh, alliance who cares i'll take your word on it i'll take your word on it but making a movie versus method black it is time for valet to show us what he can do are we going to see making a movie tie up this series or is method black going to find themselves on match point yeah we're gonna have to see i think the smaller map may be for making a movie to land fears like maybe valet is going to be able to get fears on a Chaz to extend the crowd control chain that's the only advantage i could see making a movie have on this map if they can pull it off but still i, I don't know i think method black has an advantage on the smaller map and Valet trying to use Mind Seer on his partner, so that just AoE shadow damage around them to pull the rogue out of stealth. But they've already got a blizzard behind the box, just closing Raikou and Chaz in. Waz is trying to sneak across. He doesn't want to get pulled out of stealth. He wants to make sure he can get a Garrote off. It's his highest hitting ab ability. He can only do it from stealth, which only happens very rarely in the game. But he's standing right on top of him. He, he could easily get pulled out of stealth. Goes for a cheap shot. Ratify's already in bear form. Raikou can't polymorph him out of that, unfortunately. He's just polymorphing up Valai instead. Chaz moves in to look for a cheeky clone. Gets blocked out, though. Really good play there from Tomorrow. Ratapai gonna trick it out of blind trade iron bark on vendetta a very fair trade for Ratapai. and I'm curious to see how uh, Method Black are gonna capitalize on this they can make a swap maybe it seems like they've got a clone on Chaz for now was the primary target shadow step kick kick interrupting that ray of frost just tunneling down tomorrow looking for that first ice block with no iron bark now to buffer it should be likely that in the next setup they can force it yeah Evan Bolt being cast out by Morrow looking for some damage now onto Raikou but that's gonna get deflected easily by the hots of Chaz Full Cyclone now onto Valet. Bet the Black has so much control at their disposal. Both teams really do with the Mage and the Druid available to them. Ebon Bolt being cast out by Raikou now looking for some damage. Everyone dips out of line of sight though, so Raikou not able to really find anything. There's a full Polymorph onto Ratapai. Morrow could be in some trouble now as the Ray of Frost is being channeled out. Master Spell coming in from Valet and Method Black, they need to make sure that they're interrupting the Master Spell on Valet or getting cross crowd control or any of the CC they get on Ratapai could easily just be Master Spell. All right, Chaz getting cycloned up by Ratapai. Raikou caught in the stun. He's trinketing out and on the run, but will he be able to hang out? Now a kidney shot on Mara. They're looking to reverse this. Ratapai Iron Box soaking a lot of this damage up and really not allowing Method Black to build any momentum whatsoever. Chaz with a significant mana lead at this point. And it's likely to be a longer match, I would imagine. It doesn't seem like either team has enough burst to really force the issue just yet. Morrow getting cloned up, denying any build up on his side. Chaz moving forward to now clone Valai and stop a drink on Ratapai and maybe even clone him as well. There's triple crowd control from Method Black. They need to get an ice block with this. They've set up the situation perfectly. Morrow blinks to safety. Wash out of steps to follow up. Temporal shield. It's a race against the clock. Ooh. Will he be able to do it? It looks like he's going to be able to hold on to that ice block. An unfortunate result for Method Black. Yeah, Morrow now getting cycloned up. Raikou taking a little damage. There's an interrupt over on Ratapai. Maybe they try to get some pressure over on him. I think Waz is trying to slow down some of that cyclone control that Ratapai has. Still just on target, making sure Morrow has a very difficult time building up damage. That's one of the problems as a Frost Mage. If you are getting chain interrupted, you are getting chain uh, attacked, it can be difficult to build up that damage. We see some mages do. There's an interrupt on the Morrow into a Garot Silence, full blind on Ratapai. Do they have any follow up? It looks like everyone's going to be moving in. There's a Disarm on the Chaz. Nice sap coming in from Waz. Could they force out the first ice block? It doesn't look like it. Valet supporting up Morrow very, very nicely with the powered shields, with the heals. Nice master spell on that Cyclone. And once again, they need to get the cross crowd control on Valet if they want to continue this aggression. All right, Chaz trying to time some Cyclones on that Temporal Shield. Morrow caught into a kidney shot. Method Black have been initiating triple crowd control chains throughout this entire match and getting a lot of momentum, but just, just no cooldowns. And it's really unfortunate. Right there, they would have loved to get an Ice Block. They try and keep the momentum going, potentially forcing it now with Ray of Frost, but Iron Bark from Ratify should stabilize the situation. In the meantime, making a movie or trying to make something happen here with a Polymorph and a clone on Chaz, chasing down Raikou as the target, but it seems like he's already blinked to safety, so they're forced to switch targets to Waz. Do they have enough damage to force Cloak of Shadows? It doesn't appear to be the case as both healers are out of crowd control and likely to easily recover in this position. Yeah, Kidney Shot now on Ratapai. Raikou getting in position. Are they looking for damage on him? It looks like there's not going to be any follow-up. Interrupt over onto Valet. Morrow taking quite a bit of burst here, but he gets topped off by Ratapai. 
that was actually the bark skin used by Ratapai. So Ratapai, no trinket, no bark skin available. This could be an opportunity, a swap opportunity for Method Black in the future. If they can take him down, Ratapai is getting trained down. It's very, very scary, especially if Raikou is playing that Kleptomania talent. He can remove all of the hots on Ratapai, and they can get a lot of effective damage on him. All right, Ratapai in bear form before that stun lock, negating this entire attempt. Chaz is also getting targeted by uh, making a three as well. So I'm curious to see if the Druids end up being the kill targets in this matchup, trying to spread the triple pressure. It's running them out of mana a lot faster if they have to keep heal over time effects on three targets. So it's a smart move to play for the late game if you're just trying to run the Druids out of mana, just attack everyone on the team. Ratify caught into a kidney shot once again. Do they have enough damage to push him over the edge? Comet Storm crashing in doesn't seem to be enough. Vali backing him up with huge heals during that stun lock. Vali with MVP to keep Ratapai alive. Double Fear Silence combo now set up from Vali. He's looking to offensively reverse the pressure. Raikou out of line of sight of Chaz. He's trying to blink back to his side, but he's caught into a bash. Bash now faded, no follow-up. Raikou recovers. Ratapai getting garroted. Waz trying to set up for another assault. He's just attacking everybody on the team, really playing for the mana advantage later into the game. Yeah, that was Morrow's Icy Veins. Wasn't really able to get too much. Raikou had a very nice counter spell on that Ray of Frost, denying that damage. Varskin going to be committed by Ratapai once again with a swap coming in from Method Black. Ratapai will survive. They're not going to be committing any more damage, but they got the cooldown that they wanted. They can get Ratapai into another kidney shot. Maybe they get the trinket, and then maybe a little bit later on, they can do a blind play, try to take someone else down. There's a lot of opportunities brewing up for Method Black here to start into Polymorph over on a Chaz. Raikou just line of sighting the best he can, avoiding this damage. And that's really one of the problems is they need to make sure they can get some lockdown on their target. Otherwise, they'll just be able to use these boxes to line of sight and avoid this incoming damage. Ratapai looking for some Cyclones, but he could get punished. Waz is still kind of gunning down for him. He needs to be careful when he gets aggressive. He gets stunned out of bear form. That's easily going to force a trinket. He does get stunned out of bear form, but Valai backs him up with a triple psychic scream and tons of damage on Waz. Bursting him dangerously low, but that trinket proccing a huge absorb, allowing him to recover through that situation. We see Bash Poly Silence and making a movie, despite their momentum being really low, are getting a lot of clean setups. Deeper into dampening, Raikou and Waz aren't going to have the luxury to recover as easily. Yeah, this is Icy Veins from Raikou. You know they want to get aggressive. Who is their target of choice? Morrow into the kidney shot right now, but no crowd control on Ratapai. Should be able to easily heal through this damage. Raikou dumps all of his icicles there, but Morrow is going to be completely fine with that temporal shield. Keep himself alive. We're 11% dampening. Like you said, Sid, his dampening gets higher and higher. It becomes much more difficult for this team to keep up. All right, Vali getting polymorphed away. Method Black trying to stall out maybe for a drink. No, now blinding, triple crowd control. Good setup by Method Black. They need to get an ice block with this. Morrow trinkets and blinks to try and deny it. Now standing over on top of his healer, Ratapai, but Ratapai's bashed. Do they have enough damage to force ice block? They need to get into dampening if they want to get a lead here. They've held Morrow at low health. Ratapai moving over for a bash cyclone of his own. Raikou getting silenced. Trinkets to counter spell Ratapai's clone. That was a nice play from Raikou. Backing up Chaz, breaking up the chain, and now putting Morrow in a hard position. Ratify will iron bark to deny the kill. Once again, holding on to that critical defensive ice block. Yeah, Morrow's going to be completely fine. Nice Cyclone coming in from Chaz. That was the iron bark from Ratapai as well. Now Cyclone onto Raikou. A lot of control for both teams in this matchup so far. Waz has the vendetta up. Who's he going to pull the trigger on? Potentially on Morrow. He still has both ice blocks to respond with. Now Waz could be in some trouble. It looks like he's going to be fine. The trinket will proc. He has a Coca Shadows available Ratapai. as well. Here's a big swap over on a Ratapai. Barkskin going to be committed, but they just can't find the damage. They Ratapai down. Right, he keeps getting back up from Morrow and Valai. It's so difficult for them to control the whole team. Ratapai is actually losing on mana, so the late game is going more and more in favor of Method Black as they can work through ice blocks when healing is reduced significantly more in dampening. Vendetta available. Was ready and waiting to pull that trigger. I'm curious if you also go after Ratapai. There's no trinket. There's no bark skin. That would be the most vulnerable target for that cooldown. They know Waz wants to gun for it, so they're trying to punish him on this overextension, forcing a Cloak of Shadows. Nice moves from making a move, but Waz does ultimately connect. He's got a kidney shot out of four. Vendetta gets popped. Ratapai could be in a lot of trouble, but Raikou just can't get there. Raikou's on the opposite side. Waz is going to solo Ratapai? I don't think so. Iron Bark for um, now on Ratapai. Waz maybe solos him. Raikou hasn't even done a point of damage to Ratapai yet. He dips so low. Triple Fear now out for the lie. Maybe they can reverse some pressure here. Let's see if they can get the follow-up. Doesn't look like they can get it. Method Black will stabilize. That was really nice positioning from Valet to get that triple fear there. It seemed like everyone was on opposite sides of the box and still managed to land it. Raikou just getting some control out right now, spamming out the Polymorphs onto Valet. A little bit of pressure now over onto Maru. Raikou dumping some of that burst onto him. Waz looking to get aggressive. There.
there's a kidney shot over on a Ratapai. It looks like Waz is going to commit that for crowd control instead, but doesn't look like there's going to be any follow-up. Nice sounds coming in from Blay. There's a disarm over on the Waz. No Cloak of Shadows available. Waz a very susceptible target now with no Trinket available after this. No Cloak of Shadows for a minute. No Vanish. This is an opportunity for making a movie to take someone down from Method Black. Yeah, Ratify trinketing blind, so his trinket now no longer available. He was trying to be greedy and sit through it, but ultimately did decide to make the trade. Waz playing relentless has no way to also trinket out of a stun lock, so he needs to be careful in this position. In the meantime, though, Method Black have triple control of the opposing team making a movie. Amaro is on the run. Raikou blinks on top of him, trying to dish out a ton of pain. Ratify leaves the crowd control. Chaz is just dogpiling on top of Ratify. It's I'm curious to see which Cyclone gets off first when they're just both stacked. Chaz is trying to fake cast some interrupts. Ratify now going for a clone. Gets kicked, though, by Waz. Mara dipping low. He already Temporal Shield. Now Valai manages to get a double Psychic Scream. Now a stun on Chaz. Looks like they're actually going to go after Chaz instead, trying to make a swap as both teams go after the healers. Barkskin gets traded out on both sides. An even trade, but Ratify is slightly behind moving forward. Yeah, he has no Trinket available, and you can see Waz. He has a Vendetta coming up shortly. That's definitely an opportunity. You can see Valet, he still has the Trinket and the Lifestyle, but he Trinketed! That could be a critical mistake. If they can get cross crowd control on Valet, they could take down Ratify before Valet can support him with that Life Swap. So there's an opportunity for Method Black with that Trinket from Valet. Cyclone now on tomorrow. Waz just chasing down Ratify. There's the full Kidney Shot. Vendetta does get activated. Can they take him down? Rare Frost gets activated by Raikou. Mara nice. standing up the Polymorphs, but that is not enough. Ratify will go down with the CC on the Valet. He was not able to get that Life Swap off. Beautifully done by Method Black app was the right move in this situation. I mean, Waz has Garrowed on multiple players. Yeah, and I mean, right here as well, you can see that Morrow gets garroted into that Cyclone, and then Raikou is going to counterspell. Uh, no, actually, he just trinkets out of that uh, big mind control there, and then he gets the bash into Clone on Vilay, actually, to deny that swap, and then Waz, of course, with the stun lock, Raikou with the damage, going to be easily taken down. On Chaz now with subtlety that they didn't have for that option as assassination, and over Overall, I think it plays better into their play style of burst, all in, huge damage waves. And another thing that you mentioned is, is this map just tends to be a uh, fitting final resting place as it is a cemetery, Rich. Yeah, you can see making a movie, they're going to be charging in. Ratify looking to get Raikou out of invisibility if he can. He <laughs> really wants to deny that. He manages to do it now. Acro and Mar are going to have the perfect opener if they can manage to move in and get that crowd control. Waz going to be looking to deny it the best he can as well. So, Acro playing the subtlety spec can have a lot more control in this matchup, like we said, allowing Morrow to get more polymorphs and more pressure for his team. All right, both rogues just waiting in stealth. Each mage is completely loaded up on icicles, which means they have a ton of damage to dish out as soon as this fight starts. And uh, full polymorph secured from Ratify on stealth. Actually, breaks from Acro cheap shotting him. That was a bit unfortunate there. Or from Waz cheap shotting. That's a bit unfortunate. That's going to put them behind. Now Chaz caught into a ring of frost. Raikou and Apolly. Great crowd control from making a movie early on. Tons of damage triggering that proc absorb as well as Cloak of Shadows and making a movie have a massive lead. Yeah, Chaz still in the fear. Waz isn't out of it yet. He uses the vanish to escape. Now he definitely is out of it as he is in his ability. Actually gets taken out. Acro trying to oh. connect over on him. Chaz needs to play catch up in this moment. Doesn't want to be greedy with the Iron Bark. Waz gets lower and lower and lower. Raikou gets interrupted there, but finally Waz should be able to stabilize. Nice to see coming out. Defensive blind coming in from Waz. So now Method Black isn't going to have that available offensively. Smoke Bomb gets dropped. Chaz pre-Iron Barked it. Great play from Chaz that just negated an entire setup that could have closed the game. Good read from Chaz. Now Chaz is moving forward. He's getting aggressive. Gets a Cyclone on Ratapai. Poly on Acro. Triple Crowd Control for Method Black as they launch an attack towards Morrow. He blinks back. We should heal back to full with the Temporal Shield. And very well timed by him. He's going to easily recover. They're waiting for Tree of Life to fade on Chaz. It's now over, so Acro's getting ready. He shadow steps into a kidney shot. Do they have Ring of Frost? They do, but they've also got Psychic Scream. Ratapai in a great position to land it out of the stun. Waz on the run. Acro not able to stay on target, unfortunately, and that crowd control chain completely negated by Waz's excellent tidy. Yeah, that was very well done. In addition, Raikou just spamming out the Polymorphs on tomorrow, denying that Ring of Frost incoming. Expertly done by Method Black, defusing the situation. Now they want to get aggressive on tomorrow, I believe, as he gets interrupted. Ra Raikou trying to create some pressure. And you can see actually Waz, he's going to be going over on Acro. Full Cyclone on Ratify. Acro getting lower and lower. No Cloak of Shadows available. Ratify might have to trinket out of this one, but the trinket will be enough to keep him alive for now.
Yeah, and that absorb trinket now out of the way. No trinket, no cloak. He is definitely a kill target later on if Waz wants to swap. Acro goes for a kidney shot. Chaz pre shape shifts. Ratify is going to have to psychic scream out of this. But Waz is already kiting. He shadow steps, kidney shots Acro so that he can avoid being stunned. But now he's Frost Nova. Acro marching towards him gets Frost Nova. Great teamwork between Raikou and Waz, preventing the connection on Waz during that crowd control moment. It's just excellent teamwork for Method Black. Yeah, and now Method Black can get aggressive. There's no kidney shot on a Chaz that they really need to worry about. Bash over on a Ratify. Can Chaz land the follow up Cyclone? It looks like he isn't going to be able to get it. Raikou lands Polymorph though. Mara taking quite a bit of burst. He blinks out of the Comet Storm to avoid some damage. Temporal Shield's activated as well. Watts and Raikou struggling to find pressure on Mara. There's a full Cyclone on Ratify. Finally, the burst connecting as they make a swap over onto Waz, trying to turn around this pressure. Looks like Waz is going to be okay. Nice Polymorph spam coming in from Raikou to deny making moves from getting any sort of pressure onto Waz. Chaz caught in a psychic scream. Waz has defensive cooldowns available, but Raikou is just babysitting him quite effectively by polymorphing Acro and denying any sort of damage. They do manage to proc the trinket, at least on Waz. That absorb shield not going to be available for a later push. They've got Dark Archangel, Ratapai, and their team need to force trinkets as Method Black have all three available to get out of crowd control. Maro is the one under pressure right now as Raikou's laying in. Huge damage, could force an ice block, try and hold on to it. Chaz is chasing down Ratapai to hold him in place. Temporal shield activated by Maro as he's trying to launch a crowd control chain of his own, but he gets denied by Waz. Ratify in a poly. Chaz in a blind. Likely the trinket and that means Maro's on the back foot. Forced to ice block. Ratify coming out of a poly into another poly. If they can keep Ratify in crowd control Maro will not get healed back up. Acro stuck in a poly. It's three on one. That ice block is going to be fading. Waz Garrotes him out of the ice block instantly. Ratify still getting cloned up as Maro dips low. Barely connecting a big heal in time. Now Ratify recovers. He goes aggressive. Gets a psychic scream but who are they attacking? Nobody's taking damage and making a movie. They've almost got nothing left. Raikou's been doing such a good job shutting down Morrow. He gets a counter spell on Morrow. Morrow goes for the ring. He gets polymorphed on it. Now Raikou getting swapped to. Big pressure coming in from Acro, but Waz there to protect with the Vanish Cheap Shot over onto Acro. Raikou still getting bursted down a little bit. Looks like making a movie. They're going to be looking for a target change. Raikou just doing too much in this matchup so far to deny Morrow these polymorphs that they desperately need in order to win this game. Raikou down to around 50% HP. There's a full blind on a Ratify. They want to get aggressive over onto Morrow. He still has an ice block available. He's going to be trading it out. Realizing Ratify, he's going to get CC'd for quite some time. He doesn't want to take too much damage. Yeah, Ratify using Trinket before blind means that he doesn't have it there for the longest crowd control. They have to use the final ice block. That's the last bastion of defense. Right now, their only opportunity is kill Chaz. He's got no Trinket. If they stun him out of bear form and 100-0 him, I feel like they're going to do it. This whoa, is their whoa, whoa, only... Whoa. This is it. They have to kill him 100-0. Do they have the damage to do it? They have to finish him if they want to swing the series back, but Waz denies it with a stun on Acro, and Chaz survives. Still a close call, and he's got another 30 seconds. If that happens again in that window, he's just going to disappear. Yeah, Morrow really didn't co commit his damage there. He didn't have anything available, so making a movie, potentially just baiting out some CDs from Chaz. Like you said, if they can get one more clean setup, they can easily take him down. Wash trying to control off the game with the Garot over onto Morrow. He's taking a little bit of pressure. There's a kidney shot on Chaz. Morrow looking for the Ring of Frost. Kidney shot comes in. He gets interrupted on that as well. This is so expertly done by Method Black really making Morrow's life a living heck in this game. I mean, Chaz at the same time pre-bear farming every kidney shot means that Morrow can't polymorph him and he can only ring a frost, which means that Method Black can only, they only have to interrupt one thing, they don't have to deal with two. So Chaz is doing a good job reading the situation. He's only been caught out of form one time. He could have ultimately gone down in that, but if he keeps this up, I think he is going to ultimately squeak ahead as he's got such a significant mana lead. No ice blocks. Ratify locked out of the game. Morrow doing whatever he can. He's trying to bounce on Ratify to break him out of the polymorph, but that isn't going to be happening. Will he be able to save him? Huge heal in the nick of time. Morrow restabilizes. Nice cyclone from Chaz, though. Gets blinded. Surprising to not see him trinket. I guess he's expecting a swap to him. So he's trying to sit through this and maybe trade an ice block instead on Raikou. He's not even going to force an ice block, and that really puts making a movie behind. Yeah, Raikou gets the iron bark. That's surely going to keep him alive. Like you said, Morrow gets interrupted once again. Who is Method Black going to be going after? Acro trinkets out of the kidney sh or out of the cycle. There, that's an opportunity for Method Black. A little bit later on, full kidney shot now on Chaz. No follow up crowd control. Unfortunately, it's a bash over on a Ratify. Chaz looking for the cyclone. Polymorph going to be secured by Raikou. Morrow in a lot of trouble once again. Ratify has the trinket available. Doesn't want to sit on it for too long as Morrow gets lower and lower. And afford to trinket for the bloody trinket. Oh! The full line. This is a nightmare situation for making a move. Basically, the worst case scenario. Now Morrow's all alone for another couple seconds. We are. Cyclone, beautifully done by Method Black, but I have to say that Trinket, it just, he needed to hold on just a little bit longer. If you're going to hold on that long, you've got to hold on a little bit longer.
Just like showing us that at the start of the expansion, they know how to adapt themselves and how to deal with these uh, different teams that the tournament is throwing at them. And then here, uh, Chaz gets the uh, Cyclone CS, Ratapai trinkets into that full blind. And at this point, Acro is going to be cross crowd control. Chaz can follow up with the DR Cyclone if he wants. You can see how he's trying to time it perfectly right there. There is not really much that they can do uh, on the side of making a movie when you are. One thing that I didn't want to know. Yeah. So, so uh, Raikou, mostly if you're listening, right now uh, work on it work on the transmog for sure but one thing that they don't have to work on is how good they are looking here they're going to be in that lower semi already the question is who are they going to be playing we're going to find out that answer in the next and final series of the day going to be daily feed versus the fake zebras and headed into this one I want to know, Zico, who 